No, but I'm very, 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 very excited to finally do this. To finally do this. For those of you that don't know the story, I've told it a bajillion times. Um, before Epochs came out, I was super depressed for like a year. I didn't want to do music anymore. I wanted to do game soundtracks. So I thought, what's the best way to get into the game industry? And I read that like, if you really want to show off like your soundtrack skills, attach them to a game. So I was like, okay, well I can make a game, right? Wrong. I mean, right, but wrong, right? So I made a game. It took me nine months. I took, a, I took an online class to learn how to code for Game Maker Studio 2 which is not as difficult as like C plus, C sharp, all that shit. Um, but still like, it's still coding. It's still like writing code. It's still like variables, a lot of difficult shit. But you guys are gonna be like, holy shit, you spent nine months on this, it's 30 minutes. That's what fucking making a game is. Uh, you spend a bajillion, that's why people spend like 10 years for a game that runs for like 10 hours. And that's a studio of people, right? So imagine just one person. Um, I made everything for this game, I coded it, I made, I made 95% of the art. The only art that I did not make, I will cover it as I go, but the only art I did not make is the title screen, which I'll point out. And I basically created an engine where it was like, I could put blocks down for each level, because it's a platformer, right? Um, I obviously created Blink. I created all the bosses. Um, and you'll see at the end of the game, in the credits, I actually put some of my original sketches. Oh shit. I, I, I'm so stupid. I literally meant to grab something on the desktop and I used my PC computer. All right, two mouses, here we go. So yeah, look, I even made a little icon for it, okay? All right, without further ado, I present to you another. I made an instruction thing for the beginning. Okay, let me move this. All right, let me know if the volume is good. I tested it out, but it should be good. I love the instructions, yeah. Just in case you didn't know how to do a platformer. So look, this is what the final person did. Well, I showed you guys already. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to take credit. Look, this is the original, in case you saw it again. I mean, you're not really gonna be able to see it. Whatever, this is my original sketch. This person, this person did a really good job. So take it in, look at the details. Okay. Take in the music. This is kind of like a theme. This little piano part is like a motif. So it kind of will reoccur in different ways. All right, let's do it. Bam! Look at our boy. All right, I gotta look down. I gotta look down here. So this was, yeah, this is the first level. Obviously, this is like kind of like the little tutorial level. Get your bearings. Don't fall in the water. Ah! Okay. So it's very much the style of like a story platformer. There's no lives. There's no score. If you die, you start the level over. All right, I'm gonna stop talking. And he has a double jump. The double jump was really hard to program. It's like one of the first difficult things to program because, and he also has like uh, pressure based jumping. So see, he does like a tiny jump here. And if I press it harder, he does a bigger jump, right? It took me a really long time to figure this out. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop bragging. It's finally happening, we're here. Let me, I, I mean, I'll, you, you guys will see, you guys will see who this person is. What? Another adventurer? Surely you're not headed to the top of the mountain too? Ha ha! Ha ha! A shooting star lands on the peak, and a great treasure appears. Sounds like fool's gold! And you're planning to go without a weapon? Must be too small to even carry one! Ha ha! 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm sure you're tougher than you look. The force of giants is just beyond this path here. But I have a feeling you already knew that. So a big theme of this game is that he has no weapon. He's a little tiny dude. Everybody underestimates him. He's journeying to the little smoke that you saw in the beginning of the title screen. This is one of my favorite songs too, by the way. Um, he's journeying to try and get to the top of the mountain because a shooting star fell down from the sky and you want to know what's up there. We're trying to figure out what's up there, right? All these adventurers are trying to get up there and he comes through with this little tiny dude with a scarf, no weapon. Everybody's like, who are you, man? Who are you? And he's like, let me show you. Well, he doesn't talk, but he's like, let me show you, motherfuckers. All right, here we go. This song is really beautiful, though. I actually really like this. So if you get too close to this guy, he like will camp you and he'll hit you with his tongue. So watch. And his movement is randomized. Oh! His movement is randomized, so it's like, you just gotta be, you know, you gotta be smart, you gotta be smart. But if I like chill here, he'll like camp me, cause he's smart, he's a smart frog, he's a smart frog. Move! Go away! Son of a bitch. He knows I'm here now. Ah! These moving platforms were one of the most difficult thing ever to, to program. Ever. Because you have to, like, to be able to move on top of these moving platforms, you have to, like, code the math so that it's moving blink at the same time and then also calculating your movement with the keys. It's, it took me so fucking long to do this shit. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. I try to make there be multiple pathways and stuff. Um, so like you can go down, there's like a little platform down here. If you're like super adventurous, you could try to jump over this guy, but I tried to make it. So another thing, like a big thing you could do is you can fall and then jump, right? So you can, you can get down to that platform or you can go all the way down here to this platform if you're not so good. Little frog guy. Little frog buddy. This is the first ever speed run, yeah. Ah! So there's definitely still like some bugs that I never really could figure out. Like if you hit the edge of that platform, they kind of it kind of glitches out. These I set up, these were not too hard. These are like little falling platforms, you'll see. Ah! Ah! Okay, take a breather. Collect ourselves. Time it. Time it. All right, that's it. I've had enough to hear with you, adventurers. You all think you can use my house as the possible byway? Can we go just as you please? This is Sav, by the way. Is there nothing sacred anymore? This is the angry owl, in case you didn't realize. You know, I'd be going to the peak myself, but um, someone needs to be keeping these wood panels clean. Always making excuses, always making excuses. Don't look at me like that. I could totally go if I wanted to. Now get out of my beep house! Swearing at Blink. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Uh-oh, what's this? What's this? Run! Run, 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 run! Move frog! You 
bitch. Run! Vertical jumping! Temple! Careful jumping! Oh no, I might fuck up. Precision! Precision! That was a close one, chat. That was a close one. Okay, now we're going... Now we're, see, the, see, this is what happens, right? So there's so many metaphors in this game. We're trying to go up, right? You're trying to reach the top of the mountain. But we just keep going down lower, right? It's a metaphor for my life, right? This game was honestly a metaphor for me trying to climb out of depression and the fact that I kept sinking lower. Super sad. Super sad game. I was a bird snake, yes. That was one of my one of my twisted creations. Well, I'm glad someone this is fluttering. Well, I'm glad someone followed the sign. Too bad it wasn't someone from my own party. I really don't want to go alone. Alright, fuck you, bitch. We're going. So here how the piano kind of plays with the piano from the title music. Yeah. Did it take longer to make this or Epox? This by far. This literally took me nine months of like every fucking day like a job. And we're probably like halfway through it. Almost halfway through it. This is where it gets clever though. I mean it, the whole thing's kind of clever. Okay, little rock men. Platform. Drop. Jump! LB, thank you for the follow. Alright, so I did take I took a cue from other platformers, like Zelda games and stuff, where you get something, like not you get something, but you see something in a level and you learn what it does, and then you have to use that mechanic later. So this is the first example of that, right? Little bomb dude chilling here. I mean, look how adorable this bomb guy is too. He's got little glasses and shit. cute. So when you get close to him, they explode, right? And I actually, if I was a little bit closer to him, I would have been hit. But I was like standing, oh my God, I fell. I was standing right there on the edge. But, um, so you basically, so see how there's like the door behind him? You basically use the bombs to open the doors, right? It's like a little Zelda puzzle. What you're supposed to do is jump there, jump back, jump over. But I made the hitboxes kind of generous because I didn't want it to be super frustrating, right? Like, I read a huge thing in game development is like, with hitboxes, you don't want your player to ever, like, get hit by something that they feel like they shouldn't have been hit by. Which, hello, playing Majora's Mask. And you know what I'm saying? So I made my hitboxes very generous, because I didn't want the player to ever feel like they were unfairly hit by something, you know? Except for lava. Oh! Yeah, so say how he went by that bomb, it triggered him to explode. Proximity. So there's multiple ways you could do this. You go here, you can blow this guy up, you jump back. You could go down there. You can't really fit down the bottom part, but... Go here. Go here. That's going quick. All right, now here's a little puzzle part, right? You guys can't, you guys might not be able to really see this. Let me move my camera. Oh no! Let me move my camera. Okay. So see how there's this door right here, right? So if you go down here and blow him up, the lower he starts and you're like, what? What did I do? Well, it's because you can't get by the level if you don't do it correctly. You know what I'm saying? The trick, man. Thank you for the follow. So, 
What you have to do is you have to time it so that you get down there when the bomb is next to the door and blow it up. Let's see if I can do it. Kind of tricky. We did it. And you heard the little did it, did it, little chime. I definitely took a cue from Zelda for that. All right, let's move this. Uh, I guess this is fine, actually, for my camera. Music is quiet. What does that mean? What's happening? Oh, no, it's sticky! All right, so now we have to combine all of our knowledge. Okay? We got these little bomb guys. They'll explode. So what do we have to do? Jump. Kaboom! He didn't like that. He didn't like that. Oh my god. Hold on. Let me move the let me move the chat box real quick. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill myself. Let me hide the chat box real quick so you guys can see this. Sorry, chat box. Um, okay. Let me do that again. He's not happy. This was really tough. This was really a tough to code. This this boss fight took me a very long time to do. It may not seem too complicated, but so all these every time he slams, those are all random too. So there's like no way to really predict where they're coming from. Oh shit! Like that, like uh, programming that curve. Oh shit! I'm stupid. Programming that curve where he like throws it at me. It's something very basic that you would see in um, like a Mario game. Actually, one of the most complex things to code in the entire fucking thing. Because it uses, I don't even remember the name of it, but it uses like a parabola. I don't fucking know. It's something with a P, I think. It's some kind of like math curve that uses to calculate like where, because he has to toss it up. I don't know, it's fucking weird, dude. It took me so long to fucking... I'm so... I'm actually so bad at my own game. It took me so long to figure out how to do this, though. Okay, here we go. Alright, I'm actually gonna... I'm actually gonna focus up. Here we go. Come on. I'm gonna throw him back there so that you can get up here and jump over here. I love how the bombs, if you look on their face, oh! And then each time you do it, he does more. He gets angry and angry, just like sticky in real life. I love how the bombs, when you blow them up, look, they, they look at you and then they make a little face. It's adorable. I want a little bomb guy. It's like they don't want to explode, but you just make them. Ah! Ah! <coughs> and you see this little box of bombs that he has behind him, too. Shit. Starting to shake! That platform's starting to shake, baby! Oh, shit. Oh, that was close. You fucked. First try. First try, like everything that we do. Like everything we do. What up, LB? Damn, this looks sick. Fucking cool. How'd you do it all by yourself? Did you use Stencil? No, I used uh, Game Maker Studio 2. And I basically created a platformer engine. It took me nine months. Took an online class, learned a lot of shit. Um, and then I basically made everything. It has like a graphics thing inside of it. It's basically like paint, right? And you could do animations and fucking... It's pretty easy. You do frame-by-frame -frame animations, pixels, blah, blah, blah. Took me a while to do it. Took me a long time to do it. Some of the assets are like the... Obviously, this background of the cave wall, I did not do. But I made it so that it fits my art aesthetic. Because a lot of this shit came with like outlines and I had to change it so that it all fit together. Um, did you add any hidden Easter eggs in this game? Uh, not really. No, but there are things that like, 
only makes sense when you see the ending of it. Kind of. But I didn't really make any like Derek Pope. I kind of wanted to keep it separate. From Derek Pope. Oh, he's dead. He fell like a stone. All right. Epson Chaffer is sticky, our fallen brother. This is where the game starts to get really deep. Sag is a chap for sticky. The whole game is in knees drink. True. True. It's my game. Yes, this is a game I spent nine months on, super depressed, and made before, um, before Epochs came out. Um, okay. So, for those of you that are, that are, missed the story. So, we're trying to, there's like a shooting star that fell from the sky. Everybody's trying to get to it. Along the way... We've met all these adventurers that are keep coming up with excuses of why they don't want to go to the top, why they can't go. The owl that's like, oh, well, I need to stay here and clean or else I would go. And then the chick who's like, oh, well, I don't want to go by myself. It's too scary. Or the guy in the beginning who I don't know what he's doing. He's just not even he's just laughing at everybody that comes by. But as we keep trying to go up to the top of this mountain, we keep falling down and down and down. Right. So we went from the forest to the top of the caves, and now we're like way down deep, deep in this planet, right? So it's a struggle, okay? <laughs> That's what it tells Stinky's wife. Look at this man. Oh, who's this? Oh, an adventurer telling me, are you lost? I can see it in your eyes. Well, just know, no path worth traveling was ever straight. Write that down, chat. Paths are crooked sometimes. There is still magic in this world to be found. Say, you look rather familiar. Story point! Story point. Pay attention. Why did he say that? I don't know. We're going to find out. Who's this fellow on the banner with the mustache? I don't know. I don't know. We also, I don't know if you guys can see it, but we have this little like purple glow around us now. You probably can't really see it, but we can jump now. Super crazy. I don't know. Is it a relative? Is it Blink with a mustache? I don't know. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. We have, we have gravity. We have anti-gravity powers. Look at the lighting effects. Look at how cool the lighting effects are. Didn't take me too long. We're in some kind of mysterious castle. Should be a voice actor. I think I will be one day. It's in my it's in my cards. I just like voice acting for my games. If you guys are here for my RPG stream, I had like 20 different voices to do. I like playing V when he jumps. Yeah, they go up in the air, and then they like wave. Yeah. Well, Blink doesn't have a voice, so uh, he won't be. He'll be the one person that doesn't get a voice. Future Blink, I don't know. Future Blink, Past Blink, Relative Blink, Uncle Blink, Daddy Blink, Mother Blink with a mustache? We don't know. We don't know yet. So this one, obviously, there's spikes everywhere, right? You jump into the spikes. Ah, oh, you die. So this level is like, you have this new gravity jump. You have to do your jumps perfectly with the rhythm of the gravity to... The thing I struggle most, uh, you have to do, yeah, you have to do your gravity jumps perfectly. The thing I struggle most with when making games with the collision boxes, dude, collision fucked me up for so long in this game. I almost was not able to make this game because of collisions. It is actually really fucking difficult to do. Really fucking difficult to do. All right, that's why there's still like some buggy areas that don't work well with collisions. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Look at that. You have to perfectly, you have to do a perfect jump and trust yourself to get through this part. Oh! And you think, well, can't I just drop down here? No, you can't. No, you can't do that. No, you cannot. 
can do that. And you still have your double jump, right? It'd be so cool to do speedruns in this game. I think it would be. I would love to get it out so people could do it, but I'm the only one that can speedrun right now. So remember, you still have your double jump. So you're like, how can I, how can I do this? Oh, oh! Double jump. Now, do we want to wait for the bat to pass us? Or do we want to try and jump over the bat? Oh! Oh! Just barely. Just barely, chap. Time it. Time it! Oh, no. See, I only know that because I know this game, but if you didn't know this game, you would 100% just fall into the spikes. But it's one of those games where I made it so that, like, you learn, you restart the level. It's not too unforgiving, right? You die, you restart the level, go again. It's one of those go again games, right? I am only doing it smoothly because I know everything, where everything is, obviously. And I'm a god at gaming. All right, here we go. Now this jump, it's the toughest jump. I think I think I can still do it. You pretty much just, uh... so that's the key, is every other jump you do a double jump, but that jump you literally just do one jump and you have to like trust your perfect arc. I, it took me a while to get those perfectly, but I wanted to make it so that if you jumped in the right place and trusted your jump, you would land. But that's the only way that you can do it, to trust your jumping, right? Oh, sorry, my nose is running. My mom told me, she's like, you have to stop rubbing your nose on stream. I was like, I can't. It's running all the time. All right, here we go. We're like, oh, where are we? Anytime the music drops out, what happens, chat? I'm actually going to I'm actually gonna grab tissue real quick. What happens when the music drops out, chat? I'm going to see if you know the correct answer. What happens when the music drops out? guessed it but wait a second where is the boss doesn't look like he's anywhere around here this looks like a pretty oh and we lost our gravity powers we got out of the gravity room we uh where's the boss I don't know where is he uh oh that's a big boy oh Okay, this is the toughest level, and I already failed it. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, this is the this is a tough level. This is the toughest part. This is the this is the this is the ending. Near the ending. So I made it so there's multiple paths that you can go. There's multiple ways you can beat this, but there's a lot of double jumping. Gotta concentrate. I really like this music. Single jump, single jump. And we see everything that we've seen before as we climb our way to the surface. Almost there, chat. Almost there, chat. We made it to the ending. All right, everyone quiet. It's actually super sad. I'm probably gonna cry. This is at the top of the mountain. Sad boy.
Another! That's it. That's it. That's it. The treasure at the top was his crashed spaceship of somebody else that was like him. Another. I know. It's heavy. It's a heavy one, man. It's a heavy one. These are all my, yeah, these are all my original sketches. All those people were the extra people that I got, like, little small things from. I just want to make sure everybody was in there. I do I still want to put my name in the credits the whole time. But yeah. It's deep. It's deep. That's me! Take me for playing. You're welcome. I love that shit. Ah, oh. ah, oh, it still makes me emotional. Yeah, it's a very it's a very short game. I even took the time to like make it longer. But yeah, that's it. That's it. That's Blink, baby. That's that's Blink. It's very deep. Very deep game. Very deep game. That's it. Boom. That's another. You guys got the world premiere of my game. That game was like a representation of me climbing my way out of depression. And then I got all the way to the end of it and I made that beautiful ending and then I couldn't release the game. And then I got so much more depressed because I was like, this is a beautiful game, but I can't put it out. It sucks. It sucks. But thank you. Thank you guys, though. Thank you guys for all the nice things. Uh, but I'm really I am really proud of that one. Um, I just don't know what the fuck to do with it. Like, what do I do with that? You know, it's not like anything I can sell, really. Um, it's not anything I really want to sell, you know, but, uh, I thought it was a good little, yeah, I really, I really like the, the, the plot, the little plot twist at the end, because the whole time you think he's searching for a treasure, right? Everybody up there is looking, as you see in the beginning of the title screen, you see the smoke, right? In the horizon. And then you realize that that smoke is a crash, crashed ship that he was looking for. So he was like the only person that was there and then he saw another thing come down. He's like, oh, that's another one of my people. And then obviously the, I mean, not obviously, but the part where he's down there underneath and there's like, you know, the, the banner of the old, ver you know, another version of him with the mustache. And then that guy down there is like, you look familiar. It's basically like, you know, they used to be a civilization that was in this kind of castle that had magic in it and all this shit. That's why he, you know, that's why he's like, there's still magic in this world. That's the anti-gravity shit, all that. Um, why could I put it out? Yeah, Apple, Apple security for like releasing a game is insane. That's why, that's why like the reason that MacBooks and everything, they say like you can't get viruses and stuff like that is because of their security protocol for releasing apps is insane. And you have to import it into another program to encrypt it, essentially. And when I would do that, it would, like, completely fuck it up. Because you have to import... You don't just, like, take the app and import it. You import, like, all the coding directly from Game Maker. And it, like, fucked it up. Like, the ending got all fucked up. I, like, couldn't... You know how the camera, like, zooms out and then zooms back in? It, like, wouldn't do that. It would, like, stay zoomed out for the ending. So the ending was all fucked up. The timing was all fucked up. You see how, like, there's a lot of, like, timing shit, right? When you end the level, the music ends. I timed it just so, like, it would be just as long. Um, I timed, like, the like the bird chase, the uh, final escape. All those were, like, timed so that right when you're getting out of the level, the music ends. The ending scene music was timed perfectly to that. So it was like, I couldn't... That's why I couldn't do this shit with the audio delay. That's why I couldn't do it any other way. Um, and, yeah, so... So yeah, so that's basically, 
the story of Blink. But yeah, I couldn't release it. Yeah, so super bummer that I couldn't do it. But he basically, yeah, he was like the only one that was down there. Found another person of himself, and he went through heaven and hell to find just one other person, which is kind of what we're all trying to do, right? Just one person. 